Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome tutorial on Elasticsearch 7 and this time we will be discussing pipeline aggregations. Now, uh, many of you uh, coming from a computer science background would know what a pipeline is. Um, essentially, what we do in a pipeline is we feed the output of one step as the input of the next step and so on. That is just basically what a pipeline is. So what does pipeline aggregation uh, signify? Pipeline aggregation work on the same concept where we supply the output of one aggregation as the input of another aggregation and at the other end of the pipeline, we get some certain result according to our pipeline logic. So let us uh, head to the documentation and see what it says about pipeline aggregations. So here we see um, that uh, pipeline aggregations can be broken down into two families which are parent uh, as well as sibling. This will be clear in a moment as we see certain examples. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, we have an example out here. So this is a pipeline aggregation and I'll try to differentiate between where we have a parent aggregation as well as sibling aggregation. So if you see that we have a certain aggregation here and inside this JSON, we are calculating a histogram. And inside of it we have another aggregation so this is what a parent aggregation is we have a level one aggregation where we calculate a date histogram and then for for all of the documents in the buckets we calculate the sum as well as the moving average so these two aggregations work on this the result the output of this aggregation and therefore these are parent aggregations Another thing that we note here is that inside this aggregation, we have, we are calculating two metrics, which is the sum and the moving average. Uh, the sum simply calculates sum over a certain field called lemmings, but moving average calculates a metric called as moving average on the already calculated metric of the sum. It specifies that bucket path is the sum which is this uh, aggregated metric right here and moving average uses the sum as its input and give us a certain output if you don't know what is moving average you can check it out in uh, this article right here in the documentation so these are all the types of aggregations that are provided by pipeline aggregations uh, a few of these we'll be seeing in our examples and for that, we'll quickly head back over to our Kibana console. So uh, before moving any further, I'd uh, like to really encourage you, if you haven't already seen the metrics aggregation video, you go and check it out. It is linked in the I button above. And if you haven't seen the bucket aggregation video, you also check that out. Because essentially, pipeline aggregations are just doing a combination of both metrics as well as bucket aggregations. Both of the videos are linked in the i button above. You can check them out and you can come back here so that you form a much better understanding of pipeline aggregations. Since this example that we will begin with is based on the example that we were using in the buckets aggregation video. So do check it out and come back here so we can continue. All right then, I hope all of you are clear with what are metric as well as bucket aggregations. So for the sake of this example, this is our data set, these eight documents. And here we have a certain aggregation in which, in which we have bucketed our documents according to unique values of the job description field. So you can see that we have two vice presidents, we have one software analyst, three software developers, and so on. So the task that we will try out here is that for each of these buckets, we will calculate the average salary of each of the documents that fall only in those buckets. So my recommendation to you uh, at this point in this tutorial would be that uh, before we try it out together, why don't you take a moment, pause the video and go try it out yourself. And then we will come back here and discuss the answer. And uh, if you found the right answer, do tell me in the comment section below. Okay, so let us see if you did the same thing, which I have done here. Um, since the order is not that relevant for me in this use case, I'll simply get rid of it for sake of brevity. So inside this aggregation, now for each bucket, I want to calculate the average. So what I will simply say is that uh, ahead of terms, I wish to do an other aggregation 
and the name of this aggregation i can say is average salary um the aggregation type for this one will be avg and the field that will we will average on is the salary field and as you guys might have guessed by now this is a parent aggregation because the output of this aggregation is going as the input in this aggregation let me quickly hit send and see what we get oh yes so we have our buckets and in each bucket we have the average salary being calculated and we have the average salary for each of the buckets so this is really awesome so the next task that i want you guys to do is tell me that which of these buckets has the highest average salary and you might say that it's easy to tell uh, it's this bucket but here we have only four buckets imagine a scenario where we have 10000s or millions of buckets how will you do that in that case think about it and uh, find the answer and let's discuss it and we are back guys the task that you were trying to solve before this is that you were trying to find the bucket which has the maximum value of average salary if you were able to figure it out do tell me in the comments below and if you made some mistakes do again tell me in the comments below so we can have a discussion about it so um, for doing this i will be uh, running a sibling aggregation against the unique jd aggregation and the thing that will help me out here is a function provided by the pipeline aggregations which is called the maximum bucket which helps me pick the bucket which has the maximum value for a certain field okay um so um to get started i give a name to my aggregation which uh, would be maximum ts uh, sorry as for average salary and here i say that the aggregation that i want to do is a max bucket aggregation now this begins to ask ask me for a compulsory uh, key called the buckets path so what is the buckets path uh, let's head back to the documentation and here we can see that most pipeline aggregations require another aggregation as their input and the input aggregation is defined via the buckets path parameter you can read more about the formatting of buckets path from here but i hope the meaning of buckets path is clear in bucket path we will specify the input for our current aggregation in terms of the aggregations that we have already performed in which case uh, in this case which are unique jd and average salary so let us see how we can achieve this so um, we need to find the maximum average salary and our average salary is located in the aggregation average underscore sal which is under the aggregation unique jd so here we say that i am looking for unique jd and within unique jd i am looking for the average salary and when i hit send uh, yes i have this max as field here and the value of which is 6500 and the keys are software engineer in tests so looks like our software engineer in test are the highest earning people on an average in this organization so i think so i will extend this example and see that which group earns the minimum average salary so let's call this minimum as and instead of max bucket i have a minimum bucket which uh, elasticsearch provides me i hit send and oh so software analysts in this case earn the least average salary and are you guys liking uh, this feature of elasticsearch do tell me in the comments below uh, just by writing a uh, few simple short queries we have some sort of a good insight a good analytic into our data and imagine in a real life scenario these these things can be uh, so useful suppose our software analysts are not earning that well the management might want to you know give them a hike in their salary and so on so this is what uh, business intelligence is all about and this is how elastic search can really help us get some very good insights into our data and that will be it this is what pipeline aggregations were about and now we have covered all metric aggregations bucket aggregations as well as pipeline aggregations that is going to be it for this video guys if you find the content of the video helpful do hit the like button if you find the content of my channel helpful please click subscribe 
can hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates and like always thanks a lot for watching